this kind of stuff. Thank you. 
When I see a sunset like this, I can't help but think of home. Right on point! It's over! Let's play! Wake up! It's over! Let's play! It's over! Okay! Area fire! Like this kind of stuff. Give it to us straight, Doc. How's Mila doing? I understand this Asperixis device is quite advanced, but I can't imagine it could have healed such a grievous wound in so little time. When I first applied the Asperixis, it caused such intense pain that she passed out. But now that she's more used to it, she can tolerate it, as long as she doesn't exert herself. Doesn't sound like she's ready for any kind of battle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't give you such a hard time. It's not like Mila would let a little pain slow her down, right? Thank you for the explanation. We'll take the lead for a while and give Mila time to rest. As long as I'm on the battlefield, I'm sure we'll get by. Thanks, guys. Onward. 
No matter what happens, I'm right there with you.
were all those notes that you gave to Mila? Notes? Uh, oh, those weren't notes. Those were free massage coupons. What? But why? Case closed. Just let it go already. Hey, Mila, what was in all those notes Leia gave you? Notes? Oh, those were... Free massage coupons! Huh? Oh, yes. They were free massage coupons. Perhaps I'll use one right now. Uh, one massage coming right up! Hmm, you sure are tense today! Am I? Hey, that hurt. Hmm. Oh, whoa. Massages are not bad at all. I know, right? What is going on with these two? I like this kind of stuff. Excellent. Farewell. 
Okay. Onward. back. Your back hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? Oh, that's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude, but I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have Gnome send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up. But I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead. Show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be moving on, then. Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah. No more coddling. Are you ladies feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope, don't care one bit. never traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. In Rashagal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Ajul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. <laughs> Thanks. 
expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks. I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five. Hey, Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes. It was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik, too. The real question, then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey, does that mean you can also use Spyrex to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of Rizemaxia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything, from a tiny street light to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy, and that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four, and anyone can use that power to kill others, just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. Anyhow, we should get going. You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth Spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashagol army through Earth Spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs, but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems, and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Hey, Mila? Are you really Maxwell? I am. Had I not mentioned that yet? Ah, she isn't human! Run away! Having seen the strength of Mila's resolve, I have no trouble believing that to be true. So how come you look so normal? I have taken physical form by using the elements within a human body as a catalyst. Though it has proven to be an irksome vessel with many limitations. So Mila is Maxwell in a human body. Well, it doesn't change who she is, right? Let's leave it at that. It's still a little scary. But haven't you always known Mila to be scary when she's angry about something? I guess that's true. Are they afraid of me? Or is that a sign of respect? Well, I suppose either will do. It's a pain, but I better try to bang out a letter. 
Let's see. Look, Alvin's writing another letter. My dearest, now that the interseasonals have blown their last, and the spirit climb has settled, my thoughts stray to you and your well-being. He's so formal. He's gotta be writing to a woman. That reminds me, Jude. How come you didn't answer any of the letters I sent to you in Fenmont? I didn't know what I was supposed to say. You only ever talked about yourself. Also, your penmanship could use some work. I can't believe you! You blow me off and still have the nerve to complain! But I could barely even decipher them. You yank the pen so hard it tears the paper. Well, maybe I'll just copy you. Your cutesy little bubble letters are straight from a little girl's diary. What? Guys aren't allowed to write neatly? That's sexist. I'm not being sexist! That's exactly how it looks! Then you've proven my point. You are sexist. <laughs> I'll never run out of things to write about with these people around. Okay. It's over. <laughs> 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 my mission, no matter what happens. I'm right there with you. I hope I can get better. Don't worry, I'm here with you. Thank <laughs> you. 
No matter what happens, I'm right there with you. mission no matter what happens i'm right there with you so this is experience How unfortunate. 
myself. Thank you. 